I am a founding member, I was a founding member of Linda Tillery and the Cultural Heritage Choir. Um, I was with that band for 18 years. We were Grammy nominated, travel all over the world. And, and Linda, of course, Linda Tillery is one of the one of the most amazing vocalists and ethnomusicologists and percussionists on the planet. And um, when the band first got together, she said, uh, Melanie, I want you to play the stick. And I'm like, what does that mean? I said, I don't know what you're talking about. So, and I took to it. And it's a matter of it's a matter of pounding and stomping and doing this. And there's all this foot movement that goes with it. And it just went way beyond uh, anything that I, I, I could have ever imagined. And I, and I decided that I wanted to do large pieces with many people pounding. Because in the tradition, it's usually one or two people. And the idea of turning a concert hall into a giant drum where everyone is is connected and united through the rhythm, whether you're in the audience or whether you're creating that rhythm. We have those times and all of our heartbeats align. And for that moment, we're all in the same place. And stick pounding is a thing that really, that really brings that to people. So when I do a concert, um, like when the one that I do with one voice, the second half of the program will be me and the choir and the audience. Because I believe that Again, when the people in the audience, they're like the fifth section. You know, you got the sopranos out, the tenor bass, the audience. They're another part of it. Without them, the music is, a, is missing something. So they'll be able to participate. It's really important to me that, that they are part of the music making. They're not just sitting there. That they are part of the music. They contribute to the harmony of the whole evening. So they'll be they'll get to hand clap and sing and we'll do a whole thing. We're just gonna turn that whole place into a big drum singing heart thing.